With InDesign open and set up ready to go, let's go ahead and go through how we're going to do this. First of all, you have all your tools on the left hand side. We're not going to go through all of these, but just know you can find them up here. When you're selected on different tools, the options up at the top will change and give you different options how you can edit and do different things with those tools. On the right hand side, you have panels that give you options as well. You can extend these panels or you can hide the panels if you don't want to see them. Extending them shows you more options. Hiding them just shows you the panel name as well as the icon. You can also shrink these down so that you have more space to work. I'm going to keep these out just a little bit more so I have a little bit more space and I can read what their names are. Now, what I want to do, InDesign is designed to create lots of or documents with lots of pages. If you click on pages up here, uh, you can see that there are a lot of different pages. Oh, by the way, if you don't see pages, you can always go up to window and go down to pages and it will bring it up as well. Now, I have my document and I have all my pages. Before I start typing and I start writing out what everything is, I want to start, I want to design the pages and design how I want it to look before I even get into putting in the text and putting in the pictures. This is why I want this is why it's important to have planning done before you even open up InDesign. So now I have all the text, I have all the pictures that I want to put inside here, but I need to design how I want it to look. To do that, let me close out the pages right here, I'm going to create what's called paragraph styles. Paragraph styles are styles that you can apply to uh, bodies of text and make it uniform all the way throughout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on paragraph styles and I'm going to start defining what my paragraph styles are going to look like even before I start going in and editing everything. So what I want to do is create my styles and I'm going to just click on this new icon right here which is the icon next to the garbage can. It creates a new uh, new style and I'm going to click this a couple of times. I have six different paragraph styles here. They're all created based on basic paragraph styling. Uh, I'm going to select on paragraph style six. I, I want to double click on it. Don't double click on the word, but just to the left or to the right of it. It comes up with a dialog box letting me change this paragraph style. I'm going to call this one 01 heading. This is going to be the style that I apply to my heading of each area. So I'm going to just hit OK for right now. We're just naming our styles right now. The next style I do, I'm going to call this one 02 subheading. Click OK. The next style I'm going to select and I'm going to call this one body text. Maybe I want just my body text to look a certain way. I select that one. On the next paragraph style, I'm going to call this one 04 body text drop caps. This way I can add in drop caps to my body text. Now if you notice, I went and I skipped adding 03 to body text. If I rename it, let me show you how to rename it. You just double click on the box and you can rename it here 03 and click OK. And with paragraph style 2, I'm going to rename this one 05 header. This is going to be for header text I have at the top of, of various pages. And the last paragraph style, I'm going to rename this one as pull quotes. And I'm going to put 06 in front of it. The numbers in front don't mean anything other than they help me organize and keep keep track of what I'm I'm using each one for. So with that, I go ahead and select OK. Now what I've done is I've created these predefined paragraph styles or methods for creating the text for each of the objects that I'm going to put in here. We're not actually going to go through and, and stylize these texts right now, but what we've done is we've created them so that as we put in the various text in our document, we'll be able to go and apply these styles to them and then once we've applied the styles, we'll be able to go and uh, adjust how they look and change them to match how we want our document to look.